I want to make a quick video on these 1960s Midway EM rifle games. Uh, so what these games did to drive their kind of core operation is they used a single chassis. There's a motor behind here. Um, and it controls, you know, these reels for scoring, but it also controls these discs. And this is like different game control features, the high score, stuff like that. Uh, let's go to the back. So there's a central motor in the middle here. There's two motors actually, I think uh, for forward and reverse, or just maybe it's different speeds. Anyways, um, they're connected to the two different sides of this. And what people don't like is this is a single point of failure. If this motor burns out, which it sometimes does, you're kind of screwed as you can't get new ones. Um, you can rewind it if you're really feeling ambitious and you're, you're really out of luck. Um, but the, the problem with these is they're so old and the lubricant that's on there just gets caked up and, and it just won't spin anymore. So how these all work is on, it's on a clutch system. So when these motors are on and these are spinning, you can see there's little linkages that connect the, uh, the motor with the, the drive shafts that control these different sides. So you also have these little relay catches here and you can see it's kind of catching on the edge of that, uh, uh, of that reel. And so how it works is these are kind of always spinning during game operation, the motors. And then when it wants to advance the score, it lifts back this relay for just a second. And then, you know, this reel will catch and then rotate around to the next position. And that kind of plastic on there stops it from uh, advancing again. You know, that's the limit of the clutch. So the lubricant that's on there is old. Sometimes these won't spin freely. While these motors are running, you should be able to lift your finger up and trigger you know, these, these little uh, relay catches and the disc should spin freely all the way around. If that happens, you're, you're in good shape. If it doesn't happen, uh, you can get some uh, three-in-one oil and just squirt a couple of drops on each uh, set of reels. Uh, there's some leather washers that kind of separate the different sections. You can kind of see them in there once you get in there. Uh, just get a good, good light. Um, you can see it on either end of the spring there. I just put a couple drops of 3-in-1 oil in there and uh, it gets to move it again. Also this 3-in-1 oil that I have has this little extender spout that goes really fine and far. Uh, so it's really handy for getting in those little crevices. Another uh, part you can lubricate in here is the motor itself. So if you look, let's see. There's a little spout on the side. I can't really see it, but it's basically just a little hole and there's a little bit of cotton inside there. And you just put a, a couple of drops of, uh, of that three in one oil and that'll also help lubricate it. So the other thing you gotta do is uh, clean these contacts in here. You can see that this is a, a wiper arm in here and it makes contacts with those different, those different little circle contacts in there as it goes around. Um, so if it's really bad and really nasty in there, you can pop this whole thing out. It's kind of a pain. You, get, you can unscrew the, the relays. Uh, there's a couple connectors. You got to unsolder these or, or take the motor out. Uh, but what I did for three of these games now is I just get some Q-tips soaked in alcohol and I get in there and I clean really well. Um, go through a bunch of Q-tips and then if you can get some sandpaper and, and rough up those contacts a little bit and then re-lubricate it with uh, a dielectric lubricant. Um, and after that, I've, uh, I've had really good luck getting these games going. It's been pretty easy otherwise. Best of luck.